All right, so now this is the Poisson ratio experiment. We've got a strain gauge bar. We have one strain gauge in the axial direction, one strain gauge in the transverse direction. We have our strain indicator. So the way these are set up, I think we decided that the one on the left is the transverse gauge and the one on the right is the axial gauge. And then... It's just the opposite. Just the opposite? No. Oops. It is uh, for zero, it's kind of giving that bias reading. Oh, oh, okay. Once it go up, we will see that. That's what. And then the, the load cell signal is just read off of the computer screen off of one of the um, testing programs. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the hand paddle to change the load to 500, 500 pounds. Yes. Yeah. So every 500 pounds, we're going to take a reading. So it becomes positive. There's a bias. So minus 143 and 419, and that is at 500, pounds. Yeah, four, 500 498 pounds. Okay, all right. Just go ahead and do the, the other ones and I'll... Let's go to 1,000 pounds. Okay. This is like nearly 1,000 pounds. Okay. So minus 285 and 852 micro strain. Let's go to 1,500 pounds. Minus 432 and 1,292 micro strain. Let's go to 2,000 pounds. Minus 578 and 1730 micro strain. 2500 pounds. Minus 723 and 2164 micro strain. Now, um, so the students will take that data. Of course, Poisson's ratio is the ratio of the transverse to the axial strain. It may not be constant at every single load level. I think that's more a function of the, uh, the gauges than the material. I don't think the material's Poisson's ratio is really changing. Um, this is 6061 T6 aluminum. So they can find Poisson's ratio for that in their textbook or on Matt Web or, or someplace online. So then I guess the last thing that we'll do is you'll take the load down to zero, and then we'll check the residual strains and see if we need to make any adjustments to them. And once you get down low enough, what you can do is just open up the top grip. Try to avoid going into compression. So it's pretty close to zero now. And then uh, we'll take one more look at the readings. So we've got about four and one. So that means we haven't really had much drift in the gauge readings. We haven't really had any permanent deformation. So we've stayed elastic. It's important that the students understand that Poisson's ratio is only defined for elastic material.